Elliot from the Barefoot TV and this is your SCFC news. We start off with Stoke have potentially signed someone and a left back as well. It's apparently Josh Timmon from Hull. He's 18 years old, a left back uh, who's been sort of back up for Andrew Robertson this season. He's only played five Premier League games, 12 in total in all competitions. And the signings come not sort of out of the blue. Stoke Long and Proud have said that we signed a left back last week. They wouldn't allude to who but this seems to be it. So the Sentinel have recently reported that it seems to be this guy as well. Uh, hopefully this isn't a signing that's one of those that just goes into the youth side or out on loan and then never to be seen again, sold in a couple of years. Hopefully this is a signing that can come in and challenge Eric for the first team as expected. We all said that we needed a left back. Eric Peterson had the greatest of seasons. Um, but if personal preference, I probably wouldn't have gone for this guy. If I was going for any left back from Hull, it'd have been Andrew Robertson, 23 years old. He's much more established in the Premier League. I'm not sure what to make of this signing. Um, as, like I say, he's only had five games in the Premier League for Hull, so it can't be said that I've seen too much of him. But, well, you know, we we yet to see what happens. Maybe he does replace Harry Peters. God, God knows. Who, who, who knows what's going to happen with this? But do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Next up, Jack Butland is due to start for England tomorrow night against France. It's about time that Jack pulled on the number one jersey he's been obviously out for the majority of this season through injury but now is his time to stake his claim for the england number one jersey joe hart's been under much scrutiny especially since after the weekend when uh, england drew 2-2 with scotland lee griffiths put in two pretty similar free kicks within the dying minutes and joe hart's positioning came under question now for me joe hart shouldn't have even started that game and i think he's been getting into the england squad purely on reputation alone seeing as though he messed up twice in the euros against the gareth bale free kick and also against Iceland, running that goal in under him way too easily. And then all season for Torino, he's had it's just been filled with blunders. Uh, there's been a notable one against on his debut. There was one against Inter Milan, and Torino fans couldn't believe that they've got uh, the England number one keeper in James Corns Horncastle from BT Sports European Football Show said they couldn't believe they got the England number one keeper. And then over the course of the Serie A season, they found out why. So for me, Joe Hart, I, I hope that his England career. It's not over, but he's not the number one anymore. And I hope that Jack Butland can take that spot tomorrow night against France. I've got no doubt that he will back up what we've been singing on the terraces all season, that he's the England number one, and he will put in a fine performance and make it his own. I hope. Let us know in the comments if you think Jack will be able to do that. Last up, Rory Delap, Stoke City legend. It's about time we paid him back for everything he did for the club. He's going to be climbing the Alps, doing three-peak challenge with his wife, Helen. He's doing 40 challenges this season. God help her, I couldn't be able to do that probably ever in my lifetime. So she's doing 40 ch challenges, all for charity. I'm going to put a link down in the description. Rory's going to be going with her and doing the Alps three peaks. Best of luck to him. I hope to come back and survive it. Because, I, I, yeah, I'd probably die doing, doing that sort of thing. Uh, so do make sure you go and leave a donation if you can. Um, it'd be great to pay Rory back, as said. So that's been your SCFC News. Let me know your thoughts on the Josh Timmons signing. Talk about potential signing. Let me know your thoughts about Jack staking a claim for the England number one. It's close right there. Uh, and make sure you leave a donation to Roy Delap if you can. Like, sub, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.